Ducks and Silver family. Uh, first, I want to say uh, appreciate all the people that have subscribed. Um, definitely appreciate it. I'm hoping uh, hoping some of the videos are entertaining and find them interesting. Um, it's been really cool to make them and kind of go over. I, I, I love this stuff so much. Uh, talking about it definitely is is uh, really fascinating. I love especially getting the kids and hopefully some kids or just other adults really just uh, interested in investing. And it's actually a pretty cool hobby um, of all things. And what you kind of do as a hobby also helps you down the road when it comes time to sell. So kind of a win-win, at least the way, I'm, the way I see it. But um, so this is one I wanted to make for a while. Um, uh, we're just looking at the screen here. Um, is the unsearched, the uh, you know the the old bank wrapped rolls that are supposedly unsearched or they have these crazy enders, especially, and they're selling them and it's it's just real you know. Um, I have, a, I have an example of a story. Um, you know, like there was a guy. Just looking through this, there was a guy that. Um, he, he was a big seller on here, and last year I, I saw some of his deals, and he had supposedly went to an estate, and, um, you know, in his description talked about, you know, some rolls he opened were almost all Barber Dimes. And keep in mind, these are supposedly bankrolled uh, pennies, wheat pennies. And so, you know, and I'm getting stuff all the way up to the 50s, you know. I know 58 it stops with wheat penny, but, I, you know, in that particular roll anyway, small sample. Actually, I got two rolls. Um I got them all the way up until 53, and it was more of an experiment. I knew that it wasn't uh, going to bear a lot of fruit, but um, at the same time, it's, you know, here's another example here. Um, anyway, the point being is it's just like, you know, first off, out of all the pennies you see, um, the odds of it being Barber on the end, and keep in mind, the ones, that, the one that were on the end, like the ones I bought and a lot of the reviews, it was the only Barber in there. So, I mean, what are the chances that somebody's going to make a mistake, they're going to do, a barber's going to go in, and the only one that's going to get just happens to be an ender? Well, that's a 1 in 50 chance, and it supposedly happened. This guy had like a 1,000 rolls, like the ones in the picture here. So, I mean, just the, the sheer statistics of it. The second thing I want to say is, let's just say that it did happen. Okay, so how come... If, if you're getting pennies from the 40s and 50s, they had already been making mercury dimes for over 30 years at that point. Most of the barbers are going to be out of circulation. So why would there be barbers in rolls that were rolled in the 50s instead of mercuries? You know, so it's just kind of like, and even if you do it for the 60s or do it for whatever, for, you know, old whatever, there, there's so many other more probable coins you would find enders on than these old barbers from the 1800s. So anyway, I bought a roll, and each of them had exactly one Indian penny, and each of them had exactly one barber. And I would be willing to bet, I mean, like this. I mean, come on. You know, and it's a fun little thing, you know, like if you want to, you know, I don't know, just go for the gusto. But, you know, I, I just I hope that people kind of just do a little logical process here and kind of say, okay, well, what are the odds of it actually happening, and especially to this magnitude, like in the picture? So, you know, it's just all but impossible. And, I mean, no mercury dimes in here, no Indian head pennies as an ender, no, you know, it's just one of those things. But, um, like I said, when I bought them, it's basically what was showing was the cream of the crop. And, you know, I think these guys have just found a way. You know, this is... Like in this picture here, this is the sides that are uh, rolled up pretty well, and I would be willing to bet that the other sides um, are loose, more loosely rolled. I mean, all of these have barbers, you know. I mean, and, and you're only getting one per roll. The big one, though, I mean, because that's twelve bucks, right? So the big one, to be honest, is the is the silver dollar ones. A lot of them you see that they say they're from you know Carson City or Elko or you know, the Nevada area, they have all these, you know, I understand putting stuff back in the pictures or whatever, um, you know, you want to sell the product and all that, but you know what I mean? The odds that you're going to have a, a roll of silver dollars that are, have been unopened for, you know, 120 years, over 120 years, and they're going to be, just happen to be from the location where the rarest and most expensive ones are. 
there is a video that you guys should check out. Um, it's if you look for a silver dollar roll on eBay. I'm not on eBay on a because I looked on eBay too. On YouTube, you'll see uh, a older guy there that bought a roll and exactly what you would think. It's there's there's one you know shiny Philadelphia um, with heads showing. And the other one, the Carson City, is a common date Carson City, like an 82, 83, 84. Um, and then the rest are all just just common dates, common coal conditions. So you always have the CC on one end, and then on the other end, sometimes they'll do the double CC, and that'll kind of jack the price. Like this one is a double CC. I mean, $1,500, 12 bids. And this is happening all the time, guys. And and seriously, I hope this a lot of people see this video because – um, a lot, I've seen a lot of people that buy these rolls and then they put them in like a medallion holder or whatever and, uh, or a tube, I'm sorry. And they don't open it because they want to keep it intact. And I, I'm just, I'm telling you that you're going to have one Carson city, one BU, you know, that normally with the head showing on the other side and the rest are going to be common dates and, you know, bad condition. So this is a feedback for that same person. I'm not picking on them, just just to show a point. Um, 100%, you know, rating. Um, mostly coal condition coins. Would not buy again. Uh, BU62s, which is you know common dates, is what he's talking about there. Um, they're just talking about shipping, shipping, shipping. Pretty generic coins, all circulated with all common piece and Morgans. Um, you know, could have been a better mix, common dates. So I think, you know, and I get it. You know, it's like if you spend a, a $1,500 on a roll and it ends up being just, you know, regular, you could have bought for, say, $16, $17. Yeah, you're going to get one Carson City out of it, but it's just the principle of it, too. And either way, you're, you're basically blowing $1,000 if you get it for $1,500. Let's say the Carson City is decent, and that, that's just a big gamble. I see a lot of people taking it, and I feel bad. And another thing I've seen, too, is people buy it. They do a little research after the fact, and they realize, oh, wait, I think I just got scammed. And the seller has a perfect story because then he can just say, hey, I said there's no guarantee on what's inside. This is what was told to me, and no refunds if it's opened. So, you know, he's protected from any kind of liability there. eBay obviously doesn't do anything. I mean, they let fake <laughs> fake Morgans be sold all the time from China, which blows my mind. And uh, anyway, so it's just it's just one of those things, I guess. Um, and so you have, uh, just to kind of wrap it up, you have a lot of feedback showing here um, of exactly what we've been talking about. And, it, you know, it's sad, but it's the way it is. And I just hope that some people kind of see this video. Um, I know when I was looking at them initially and I thought, oh, my God, look at these Morgans. This is, you know, years back. But, you know, just thinking, oh, my God. You know, then I started looking at doing some research on them and starting to see. I'm like, well, wait a minute. How come I don't ever see any feedback of somebody saying, oh, my God, I found three Carson Cities, you know, BU, whatever. Or I found, you know, four Carson Because you would figure if you bought a roll, unsearched, truly, from Carson City, the bank, you know, it's probably going to be mostly Carson Cities, at least half. If you're talking about an actual roll from the 1800s, I mean, wouldn't you think that? So uh, if you're only finding one, and I think a lot of people get embarrassed and they don't want to say anything, which I understand too. Um, the problem is, is that the next guy comes along and he doesn't know the truth. And then the, the cycle perpetually, you know, just keeps going and going and going, a vicious cycle. And uh, same thing with, you know, same thing with uh, with all of it. You know, nobody says anything, and everybody's just kind of hush hush, and or they try to resell it. Or I've seen some where a guy had bought some, opened it up, didn't like what he got, put everything back, recrimped it. You could tell because the pictures from when he bought it was decently crimped. And then when he tried to sell it, um, there's just a couple of them I followed real close like that because I was curious. And then when he went to sell it. It actually had a – it looked like it had been open and kind of just, you know, haphazardly put back together. So, anyway, um, just a few things. Like I said, just – I don't – you know, it would be great if this was true and you could find some kind of cool role. At, but like I said, just like the Barber Dime thing, I mean, you really think that 
there's they're going to make that many mistakes if they're if the machine is rolling it up and it's just going to be enders and it's just going to be barbers even though you have wheat pennies and it's just going to be an indian cent somewhere in there and you know it, it's just one of those things where just for it to happen once it would take a tremendous amount of coincidences for it to happen a thousand times and you just happen to see a guy that is a big seller and he sells a lot of uh you know, kind of combo packages, uh, you know, coins or whatever. Um, it's, there's just no way. And like I said, I've bought some of these just to experiment, and it was exactly what you would think. And the silver dollars I haven't bought, I will not buy. Um, but I have seen a few people that bought it on forums. Um, like I said, check that video out that guy did, look under silver dollar roll. It's, a, it's an older gentleman that talks about uh, opening up one of those rolls like we had pictured here and um and just check it out and and like i said it's just hopefully this will come across we'll try to put some cool search you know or decent search words in there um because this is something like i said i was shocked i mean we just we just looked a second ago and when you're talking about uh you know fifteen hundred dollars and you're talking about you know consistently and this is with two days left three days left this is another fourteen hundred dollar Again, it's it's the face on the front, and that's going to be you know 1889. I promise you, it's going to be a Philadelphia or San Fran or uh, New Orleans or something. And then there's going to be one Carson City on the back, and just happens to be from uh, just happens to be from Carson City, Nevada, and. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just, like I said, just everybody really be careful. It's just so much other things you could buy. You know, with that with that amount, you could buy a double uh, double eagle gold coin that's going to be a, you know, MS-63. Heck, for that kind of money, you could buy an MS-64 or 5. And um, you would be much better served doing that than to pay, uh, to pay for just one Carson City, you know. And maybe two if the guys are feeling like oh people are catching on i better throw two in one of them but like i said you can look at the reviews too yourself and i i have yet to find one that says uh you know that says otherwise so anyway guys i appreciate it uh hopefully this helps i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try to do some new uh some new stuff with the mic and with the um uh now that i can do some video on the screen kind of helps especially because a lot of stuff uh is ebay related so, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, hope this helps some. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.